We've got a powerful message on bullying tonight. A young girl, just 12 years old, has bravely spoken about the torment she says she's endured at a Perth high school. Her family says enough is enough. A 12-year-old girl at the centre of a new kind of bullying. Go, 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 go. I've got blood lips, bruises. They girls started saying, round two, round two, you have to have two rounds, three rounds. Driven by likes and shares, the girl claims she's forced to throw punches, the content uploaded to social media for bragging rights. On Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, like for other people's entertainment and get followers and things. Disturbingly, the Year 7 student also claims her tormentors photographed her in the school toilets. She doesn't know what, if anything, they did with the images. The girl's grandmother says the school in Perth's southern suburbs won't do anything about it. How would you rate the school's response to this? Pathetic. That's all you can say. I mean, for goodness sake, she's a 12-year-old child. Schools are in a difficult position. Teachers unable to intervene physically if children get violent. The Education Department says parents need to speak with children about filming violence between students. In a statement today saying schools take allegations of bullying and violence very seriously. You've got a whole pile of delinquents running around ruling the schools. The teachers are not in control. The WA government is considering a statewide ban on mobile phones in schools like this where the fights took place after a similar crackdown in Victoria. It's a move this Perth family would welcome. It takes away that power to big note yourself, degrade other people and take inappropriate photos or videos. Perhaps a necessary step to discourage playground fights filmed for likes becoming all too common. Darius Winterfield, Nine News.